and welcome back to another new video of pen paper physics um i know it's been a lap right now after so many days i'm uploading the video but make sure you watch the full video because it's going to help you in your studies and this video was a request from one of my subscriber mohit so mohit this video is for you but before we move into the video please subscribe to my channel and if you like the video please after watching the full video positively hit the like button till then let's move into the video before we move into the details of this video let us just have a quick recap on wave velocity frequency wavelength and time period now here we can see a transverse wave the x axis of this wave is representing the distance traveled by the wave and y axis shows the displacement of the wave particles now first we will learn about amplitude the maximum displacement of the wave particles are called amplitude which is marked in this diagram with a letter a next we will learn about the wavelength now particularly we have three definitions of wavelength the first one is the distance between consecutive crests the second definition we can say it is the distance between consecutive troughs or also we can say it is the distance between a crest and a trough now let us see what happens inside a source which is producing a transverse wave as we can see in this video a transverse wave is produced when the source is actually vibrating in a direction perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation and in this propagation it is producing a wave that means a crest and a trough in short a crest and a trough as a whole make one wave now what is frequency the number of vibrations made by a source per unit time is called its frequency since the frequency is actually the number of vibrations made by the source in unit time so we can say that it is the characteristic of a wave that depends solely on the source next we will learn about the time period a time period is basically time taken to complete one wave and how do we relate it to the frequency frequency and time period are reciprocal to each other for example over here the time taken to complete one cycle is 4 second so frequency is 1 by 4 and time period is 4 by 1 so they are exactly reciprocal to each other next we will learn what is wave velocity wave velocity is the distance traveled by a wave in a medium in unit time like over here the wave or the disturbance is actually passing through a distance of 3 meter and it is taking 2 seconds to travel that distance so we can say the wave velocity is 3 by 2 meter per second as a whole 1.5 meter per second now we will learn how do we relate the wave velocity frequency wavelength all together the distance traveled by one wave is actually its wavelength which we denote using lambda the time taken to complete one wave is t and the wave velocity is distance by time so wave velocity v is lambda by t this is one formula another formula is 1 by t is frequency so we can say velocity is frequency into wavelength that is v is equals to f lambda 
or even n lambda according to some books. We use both the symbols f and n to represent frequency. Here in this example it is clearly evident that we have two waves per second and each and every wave is traveling three meters. Explaining it further we can say that when a wave travels in same medium its wave velocity is constant. That means f into lambda that means the product of f and lambda is also constant. So lambda can be explained as constant by f or frequency. So we can say that wavelength is inversely proportional to the frequency. As a result when frequency increases that means when the source is vibrating faster the wavelength decreases that you can clearly see over here in the video. The key point to be noted over here that when this scenario is actually happening that means the wavelength is decreasing over here because of increase in frequency but with it the constant wave velocity. So from here I can conclude that wavelength and wave velocity depends on propagating medium that means it depends on the medium through which actually the wave is traveling but the frequency depends on source that means how faster the source is vibrating or in other words we can say how many number of waves the source is actually producing in one second. But what exactly happens when light or any other transverse wave is actually traveling in a different medium? Mark my word, it is traveling in a different medium. So right now the medium for the wave is going to change. As you can see over here, when light or any other transverse wave is actually traveling from one medium to another, its wave velocity and wavelength is going to change. Since the wave velocity and wavelength depends on medium. If we take an example of light, here light is traveling from a rarer medium to denser medium. The speed of light, more specifically the wave velocity of light is actually decreasing. This we have learnt when we learnt about refraction in our previous videos. So I can conclude from here that this decrease in wavelength what we are observing right now is actually because of increase in optical density. Now since light is actually traveling to a denser medium in this case, its wave velocity is decreasing. That means at the same time light is actually traveling a smaller distance. But the frequency is not changing because the source is vibrating in the same way, the way it was vibrating previously. The lambda, the decrease in lambda or the decrease in wavelength is solely because of change in wave velocity. In short, I can conclude that the change in wavelength over here we are observing due to change in wave velocity since the wave is traveling to a complete complete different medium. But if you remember the previous case where we have observed the decrease in lambda or decrease in wavelength that was because of change in frequency since over there the wave velocity is constant but over here the wave velocity is not constant since light is traveling to a different medium. In short I can say that when light is traveling to a different medium, its wavelength is changing and wave velocity is changing, but not the frequency as it depends on the source. So in refraction, frequency remains constant, but wavelength and wave velocity changes. Welcome back 
everyone. Hopefully, all of you have seen the video. And especially this question to you, Mohit. Hopefully, now your answers and all the doubts are clarified. But before you leave, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed. And my all the social media links are given below. Do follow me and do follow my page. Till then, thank you very much. Hope to see you in the next video. And I will definitely try to make the next video very soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Have a nice day ahead.